What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video. It's going to be a non-edited car video today. I uh, just wanted to talk about the New York Giants draft situation and as we are a week away from the draft. It is Thursday today. We are a week away from the NFL draft. I'm pumped up even though we might not have football next year. I don't care. I'm excited for the draft. I'm, I'm excited to see who are the next New York Giants. So, on the topic of the New, the New York Giants draft, we're not going to be talking about the fourth overall pick because that just gets tiring. That may come in somewhere in this conversation, but I'm done talking about who the Giants are going to draft number four overall. We don't know. Cop Hizzle made a great video as well uh, talking about that. But this is not going to be about Isaiah Simmons or a tackle. This is going to be about the wide receivers. Now, I know, I know a lot of New York Giants fans are wanting a top-tier wide receiver in this draft because why? There are so many wide receivers in this draft, especially in that second to third to fourth round. It is just loaded with wide receivers. I guarantee you the majority of the picks are going to be wide receivers. If there's going to be a position that is the majority drafted in this uh, draft in the second to fourth round, second through fourth round, it's going to be wide receivers. So, Obviously, somebody's, you know, everybody's got to get some, right? Everybody wants a piece of that wide receiver pie. Now, I want to quickly say this because I think a lot of people have this just, are just looking too much into the wide receiver position in itself being the draft uh, because of the prospects. The Giants do not need a wide receiver in those higher rounds. They do not need. That is a luxury pick. I only want the New York Giants to get a Chase Claypool to get, um, you know, Antonio Gandy Golden. Well, he might get to the fourth round, but he's building up a lot of hype, so he might even go in third. I only want the Giants to get one of these wide receivers if we are satisfied with what the picks we have earlier or the guys that we don't need to fit a need, the, the guys that, you know, that are available don't really fit our need, don't really fit... Uh, the value isn't good. Listen, if Matt Pert is there in the third round and we still don't have a tackle, say if we go Isaiah Simmons and then say if we get a center or something like that, um, if we do not get a tackle in the first two rounds, if Matt Pert is there in the third round, I'm getting Matt Pert. There's no doubt about it. I'm I'm getting him over Chase Claypool. I'm getting him over Gandy Golden. I'm getting him over John Hightower, a Boise State guy who's probably going to go in the fourth round. If he drops to the fifth, I'd definitely pick him up. But the New York Giants... Uh, wide receiver need is more of a luxury pick. If the Giants get a wide receiver, that is a luxury pick. Uh, what I mean by that is the Giants would only go after that position because we do need it, sort of, because, you know, obviously Golden Tate is getting older. Sterling Shepard has had two concussions last year, so he might get another one. He's always having a concussion. Um, Corey Coleman is coming back from injury. Darius Slayton is pretty much the only consistent guy on that wide receiver roster. I get it, but we have a lot of wide receiver talent. You look at last year, was there a real discrepancy of the wide receiver uh, wide receivers production? Uh, there's There's been plenty of worse situations in the NFL. Not, I can't name any of the top of my head, but there are plenty of bad wide receiver situations that other teams have had. Even with the Giants and all the injuries, we were still able to produce from the wide receiving core. Why? We have tons of depth. We don't have any top tier guys. Darius Slayton is getting there. Sterling Shepard is probably our best wide receiver. Golden Tate just slightly below that. If a Sterling Shepard, uh, if a healthy Sterling Shepard is there, he's a monster. But, you know, if you, let's say we have all those healthy guys, Darius Slayton, Golden Tate, Sterling Shepard, Corey Coleman, if these guys are healthy, where where is this Chase Claypool or Antony, uh, Antonio Guinea Golden really going to get much playing time? I don't think they're going to really beat these guys off the roster. Um, and, you know, even with Benny Fowler getting on and off the roster, Cody Latimer also coming on and off from injury. We were still consistent, somewhat consistent in the wide receiving core. Yes, we have some drop passes. Yes, that happens with every single team. The injuries, the drop passes, the miscommunication happens with every single team. I don't believe the need of wide receivers is that bad to get one in the third or fourth round where we, you know, where we can go at other positions. Like I said, I mentioned Matt Pert. I mentioned a uh, maybe a Matt Hennessy if he lands there, the center. Um, you know, you you talk about safeties as well, right? There's a lot of safeties going in that second, third round, fourth round. I really want um, Antoine 
Antoine Brooks, a safety out of Maryland, a Dante Savage type player, also coming from the same school. So you can imagine he is very much like Dante Savage. He's a guy that might go in the fourth round. People are saying fifth round. I think his talent and his tape says otherwise. I think he's more valued at the fourth, third round. There's a lot of guys out there that I would prioritize over the wide receiver position. Now, I went over, I did my live stream, and I talked about it, and we 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 did our you know simulations, and I did find myself getting a wide receiver in the third round a couple of times when the opportunity was there and the value for other positions that I wanted were not there and were not equal to where I was drafting in that moment. So, like I said, it all it all depends on the situation, but if we don't draft the tackle in the first two rounds and the Giants go out and get Chase Claypool, I'm going to be extremely pissed if Matt Pert is still on the board, okay? If we go out and get, if Antoine Brooks is, goes out and he's still there in the fourth round and we go out and get a Antonio Gandy Golden over an Antonio, uh, you know, an Antoine Brooks, I'm going to be extremely upset. And if Antoine Brooks goes out, I don't know, maybe 10 picks, 10 picks um, past us or 10 picks or 20 picks, um, you know, pa- past our past our draft pick, I'm going to be extremely pissed because we missed out on him and somebody was able to pick him up. So that being said, guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Listen. If there is a wide receiver, I won't be mad with Chase Clear. I'm not saying they're bad players. I just think the New York Giants wide receiving position and their situation at wide receiver isn't that bad that a lot of people are thinking. It's not that bad. Yes, there are injuries that's going to happen, but we definitely have the depth. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video.